Run away from yourself. Offload. Offloading words. Offloading words. Words. What I've noticed with languages is uh, there are words that apparently of definitions, that's the use of the words is to define meaning, the use of the word is to give meaning, to interesting, the use of the word is to give meaning, the words have meaning, meanings, many words have meanings, and the human will hear a word and even if he knows the meaning of the word he can and will and does associate the word with a thing or with things that are not definitively correct I have found this in recent interactive communications with human beings so words words are spoken by the human to enable them to communicate express that which they intend to convey with the spoken word communication to enable understanding to be reached within that interaction that the communication expressed with spoken word is about because communication is not necessarily to do with words you can communicate without words no doubt about that, and not necessarily with symbols either. I mean, that communicates. What does it communicate? Does it communicate a, an association? See, the mind as well, it's got to be involved here. Uh, I'm currently um, realizing, becoming aware of the nature of my mind and the manner in which it the manner in which it it's not so much represents itself as 
is observable, perhaps, in the manner in which it's observable by me. Is it me? It must be a me in some context or some respects. That's a divergence, anyway, was a word, yeah. So what I've been noticing is there is communication that is expressed definitively that can be misconstrued consequent to associations made by others to the words utilised by whoever is speaking that wasn't a very clarified expansion so there are words and words have definitions or, uh, and they are utilised to define what one intends to express with the use of those words though those you express those words to have a tendency from my experience in this of associating the words with things that are not definitive causes uh, misunderstandings generally in fact I've been in rooms with people who have all going to the same place let's say which is an illustration actually rather than being definitively correct because there is no place to go it being a metaphor um, I'll get to that illustration part so I've been in a room and I'll continue using the um, rhetoric I've been in a room with people it was a metaphoric room even because it was on a, it was on it's a voice over internet protocol uh, platform in a room with people all going to the same place all wanting the same things and not understanding what they were saying and disagreeing about this and that which was basically disagreeing about the words that were being used in the context that was interpreted from a misunderstanding of the words from the associations each made with the words used <coughs> so what I've just noticed or what I've realised or something that's come to my attention today was it today or was it yesterday was that it's been it's been brewing a while. This is that the more than one way to express oneself with words. One can be illustrative and not necessarily be being definitive, though. But utilising illustrations, being illustrate using language as an illustration to illustrate a thing. I mean, how can that be definitive anyway? If you're illustrating a thing, you're hoping, perhaps is not the right word, you're intending that the person you're interacting with conversationally is going to interpret your illustrative. In fact, it might be sort of a cultural illustration, utilising words that have become culturally acceptable as an illustration of something definitive so I realise it's sort of even to me it sounds garbled what I've just said and nine minutes in and it's not for anyone other than me I just wanted to upload some words onto a vlog for whatever reason I could say more about my own use of words. It ain't playing. It ain't wordplay. It's more of a investigation. It's more of a reaching realizations consequent to my placement of the words in the 
where's the placement I could actually do another 10 minute view on just on on that alone but I'll tell you what I learned whilst there are more than 18 ways to look at more than 18 ways to interpret any piece of writing that I create or there is a specific alignment when creating it to reach those 18 clearly although they must be in the anywhere without the alignment is that whilst there was a minimum of 18 ways to interpret it there was only one actual way to understand it as it was initially expressed the other 17 were merely an entertainment or entertaining entertainment yeah so what is language actually is it a way of definitively um, expressing that which we um, wish, desire, intend to convey to another human so they can understand that which we intend them to comprehend from the event or is it something to just illustrate our general observation of our experience of existence I mean I mean from an illustration perspective it sort of um, implies fiction fiction is sort of an illustrative illustrating uh, fiction is illustrative use of words I suppose it would all be called rhetoric whichever way you interpret it did it I'd have just played all that Bob Marley song though I don't want Bob's fucking estate on my case and I don't want to lose my good standing of my uh, channel which if such a thing occurred my videos would be limited to 15 minutes you can't run away from yourself and that's a fact 